a lot of these peptides have only been tested on rodents. They're not FDA approved. You and know, how do you know the dosage? Depends on the patient. I really don't like standard dosing. I think that we're all different and we're all different sizes. And I am a big fan of going slow and low with things. So in the idea of these being in capsule form, I just tell people start with one a day. Let's see how we do. I might go up. It depends. You know, are they, uh, are they a rhino or are they sensitive Sally? I don't know. <laughs> what are we trying to heal? What are we trying to do? When you say you cycle them, how often? Depends on what I'm going for, but I think in general we could safely say a bottle of tea. I have never seen anybody go through a full bottle of BPC-157 unless without it being in a couple cycles. And so I would say as short as 10 to 14 days. I might take somebody longer, depending on but how they're responding. patients who are on it for years. Yeah, I'm not a and fan. And you know, when I call the their physician prescribing it, I always say, because I keep a list of medications for my patients, and I call this one doctor, I text him, I'm like, can I please have, you know, I want to know what's in this injection, because my patient has lost, like, I don't know, 40 pounds. You must, it must have some GLP-1 in it. But he doesn't do it because he says it's proprietary to him. Oh, and no. then my patients don't know what they're injecting. So, And they've been on it for years. So I'll tell you something that's happening right now, and this is pretty shady. There are gray market – when I say gray market, I mean these are research labs. So these are for research only. These are the places where people are buying peptides online, injectables. There are gray market companies – I've just learned of this, and I don't really know what to make of it. There are gray market companies selling research – peptides, not pharmaceutical grade, research grade. And who knows how clean, some of them are, have a certificate an, of analysis and they look very clean. I don't know. We don't know where they're coming from. They are selling only to healthcare practitioners, doctors, clinics, because I got a call from a colleague and she's like, oh, she's talking about injecting BPC-157. And I said, we can't do that anymore. Where are you getting that? Like what pharmacy or what compounding pharmacy are you finding that at? And she's like, oh, I'm getting it from this place. And this place, I looked into it. They're selling these doctors clinics, gray market peptides. And then these doctors are sometimes slapping their own labels on it or mixing them up. And they're reconstituting them for patients and sending them out the door. So why was it uh, pulled by FDA? I don't know. They did some kind of secret meeting and we lost a bunch of peptides overnight. Oh, really? And things that have been on the market in the compounding world for years. So I don't know what happened. Was it because patients were getting healthier or was it because cancer was growing? <laughs> oh, I, probably the former. <laughs> That's usually it, right? 